Welcome everybody, my name is Marques and in this video I'm going to show you how we can use NordPass. In my opinion, NordPass is one of the most beautiful password managers out there and I really like their design, their user experience and also how effective it can be. And I'm not paid by NordPass to say these things, I just really like the company. So the first thing that you want to do is create an account. Now if you already have an account guys, just completely skip this step. I'm going to click here on plans, personal and family. You choose yours, which one, which one you want. I'm going to choose the free one, download NordPass. Detecting a platform and right now it's downloading. I'm going to click NordPass setup, run. And I'm also going to show you how we can use it with the extension and everything. Okay, allow access. And here we go. Welcome to NordPass. Create account. And here I'm going to add an email address. Continue. Now I'm going to add a password. Create a password. A strong password has more than eight characters containing uppercase and lowercase letters as well as symbols. Never reuse old passwords as this may compromise your account. My recommendation, have it really strong for your account and also write it somewhere on a paper. Create a password. Okay. Like this. And now Nord account created successfully. And here we go. So I'm going to add master password right here. This is the password that you're going to have. Again, this can be really long. It can be similar as a login. But um, it's up to you. Now, master password needs to be like top notch. I would have the password and then master password. And master password needs to be mm, like high tier secret mission, you know, type of stuff for you. If you can have like a lot of other things in your Nord NordPass account. Continue. And here I have it. So how to work with it and what we are going to do now. So the first thing that I'm going to show you is a walkthrough on what you can find in NordPass. Then we will go on how we can add a password. Then we will add a browser extension, recovery code, and we will get everything what we see here. Okay. So first categories in all items, you would see everything with your password, secure notes, credit cards, personal information, shared items, secure notes, credit cards, and these are like categories that you will find. Then you're going to see the trash that you can like delete your passwords and delete your information. Then you can also add a new folder. So let's say you can add a new folder for, let's say you would have a notes, personal information, or like secure notes, some kind of notes for that, for school, for work and personal. Then we're going to see the settings here. In settings, you can log out, you can upgrade a free plan. You can also change the master password. You can get recovery code. So if you lose the master uh, password, use this code to reset it. So I'm going to add master password right here. Wow. Really? Bro, what? Ah, okay. And this is the recovery. So my recommendation, guys, is definitely download the code as a PDF. Recovery code. And have it and print it. Print it out. So whatever happens, if you're going to lose your master code, if something is going to happen, you have recovery code with you. Okay, definitely save it. Then you can have also multi-factor, so you can turn it on to continue. And you can have it right here. Uh, this is the Nord account that you have. And you would have a verification code. And this is how the multi-factor works. So you need to like turn it on. Now I would have a 
right here and this is where you can like add your code so we will get to it but this is where you can also um, have a multi-factor auto log automatically logs the app after chosen version of device you can have it for one week never one day four hours one hour and then you're going to see the language here that you can change if you want to from english deutsch italiano and theme so you can have light here or dark my recommendation would be having dark then you can also import and export the items and then what you can do also uh, is to see the autofill and autosave so you can see the import export we will get to it on add a browser like add a browser extension i will show you how to do it soon enough when we are going to create password and then you're going to see the never saved websites so that means the website saving your passwords for and you can also launch startup crash reporting and advanced trusted contact and you can add them if you want to so let's go straight away and let's start with the first thing and that's how we can add password here if you can have any questions guys about the settings that i showed you ask me down in comments so i'm going to click here add a password and i'm going to add a title twitter email username And I'm going to add a password. Now I'm going to add a website. See the logo changed. And other, you can add it to new folder like social media. Add a new folder. And this would be my folders, social media. And click save. And voila, this would be my first password. Now let's download extension. And let's see how it's going to work right. So you can always just add passwords right here on the top right. And you can add email, username, password, website address, title. I can go to tools now. Or like settings. Now here I can go simply and find my add a browser extension and click Google Chrome. Right here I'm going to add to Chrome, add extension, confirm. And now we have it right here. And then uh, what you can do is to go on twitter.com let's say I'm going to log in use phone email username we see it right here and we see it right here so I can simply click here and bang but what I mentioned is that when I have it right here I can go to settings out of feel so I can simply click on extension you can have like browser extension here and save and field passwords so you see it right here and you can always edit things you can move to folder remove from folder and see this is how it works and log in so this is how we do it pretty straightforward pretty easy and this is how it works with extension now if you're gonna have any questions guys uh, about extension and how we can use it ask me down in comments i'm really happy to help you now let's go further for the next thing and that's secure notes and i'm going to click on the secure notes I can simply add a secure note, jot down a Wi-Fi code, office security alarm code or your friend's birthday. So title, friend's birthday. 
secure note. My friend birthday. Yeah. I... And my friend is going to have a birthday. <laughs> two days from now, like tomorrow. Dominique folder and I can have it to folder friends. Click save. When I have the friend's birthday, I got it. Under secure notes, you're going to see the credit cards right here. And you can also add a credit card. So I can add a title of my bank card, card details, card number. So expiration date, security code, and zipper postal code, and save. And voila, here I have my bank card that I could easily use with my extension. So when I go back here, I can see my extension. So if I would be paying for something, I can easily just like click on it and it will automatically add it. So that's pretty good. Then we're going to see the personal information here. Save your address and contact details to fill registration form quickly. This is really great if you're like registrating for a new website. So I would click here, add a personal information title. Let's say it would be just for login, full name, email, phone number, and I would add everything, addresses, city, state or province, literally everything, right? So this is really great. Then shared items. And uh, this is something that you could like share with others. Right. And to share it, you need to have a premium account, but they would click share here and you can share it with others. Pretty straightforward, pretty easy. And then when you're going to have the personal information here, you can simply click here and let's say I'm going to move to trash and then I would find it in trash. And if you want to, you can empty the trash. So you're not going to find anything. So this is how it works. So we got all completed for get started. And the last thing that I'm going to show you guys is how we can use tools. So I come here next to the settings tools. And here you're going to see the password generator. You can see that you're going to see the create secure passwords for your accounts. It's going to automatically create whatever password you want and type characters or words. So that's something you can do. And then you're going to see the Nord Locker here and password health. So identify passwords that can put you at risk and data breach or scanner. And then other like Nord apps here. So you can check a Nord Locker and NordVPN. So these are the two that you can also test out. And password health and data breach scanner is for paid app. So identify passwords that can put you at risk and check if your sensitive data has been leaked online. This is like you can also Google it, the data breach or scanner is not something really that amazing. But password health is pretty good. Now when you want to click again on the settings here, as I mentioned, You can automatically save and fill passwords on chosen websites with extension and that's pretty much it. So this was a NordPass tutorial, NordPass for beginners. If you're going to have any questions, guys, ask me down below in the comments how to use NordPass, NordPass guidance, NordPass tutorial, NordPass beginner's guide, NordPass uh, tutorial and that's pretty much it. So thank you very much and have a great day guys and goodbye. See ya.